got to tell you, I am super excited. Tonight is a very exciting night. You know why? The king of Amalite is back. That's right, Ken Oshabach. You've known him uh, as the Amalite king for close to 20 years here at TSC. Hey, Chip, and I'm obviously a proud excited. Canadian. This is a passion and love of mine. It feels so good to be back, you know, in the Amalite space, in the Amalite world. I wanted to do something extra special. So we are going to give you the best Amalite in the world. Every single piece is going to be guaranteed not a chance. It's guaranteed to have this incredible, rare blue amylite. This piece that we're showing, Sean, you know, we've had so much fun talking about it all day long. This is more than jewelry. This is wearable art. This is wearable natural history museum. This is a 70 million year old Madagascar ammonite that we have that we have cut in half. So we've opened up to show you the insides. And on the insides, they have these wonderful little chambers, you know, as a chamber nautilus that we've actually physically and intricately, you know, selected meticulously all of the best amylite in, 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 in the Canadian Amalite collection and inlaid it in this piece. Yeah, no, it really does. It is certainly that gemstone that uh, you're just going to keep smiling every time you look at it. I mean, it's just so exquisite. All right, this is uh, another ring I really enjoyed uh, when we were shopping on it in our previous hour, Ken. I and I love that you uh, have kind of said, okay, well, you know, we're going to bring you some of the best quality Amalite. Certainly every piece is going to feature blue. Uh, but you also kind of thought outside the box and said, hey, you know, how can we... Uh, create something very stylish incorporating other gemstones and I really admire this ring and I love how you've incorporated uh, this beautiful peridot. Well thanks Sean and you know if, if people that know me know that I, I just love you know mother nature mm -hmm. and you know I remember you know my daughter writing a, a sort of a, an essay on me talking about how I would you know drag her out she and her sister out onto the uh, the back porch to watch the sunrise in the middle of February because they're the most spectacular Alberta sunrises, the reds, the oranges. And there's just so much beauty in Mother Nature. And, and I felt like, you know, I've spent so much time working with Amalite, but there's, there's so many other gemstones that I absolutely love and never really had the opportunity to work with. And I, and, he, and you can see, like, look at the peridot, the green peridot, how it works so beautifully with the, the Amalite stone, um, it, it's spectacular. By the way, this is special to me because um, this was my oldest daughter's uh, choice. You know, I said I wasn't going to name all the pieces, but my two daughters who are absolutely the most precious things in the world to me, uh, this is Kayla's ring. And uh, we did that because the Peridot is August's uh, birthstone and she was born in the month of August. And uh, yeah, fantastic. And by the way, this is a little bit flexible. So you can make it a little larger, mm -hmm. you can make it a little smaller. Somebody that has a little arthritis on your on your you know knuckle or or your knuckle is larger than your than your ring finger, this will work perfectly for you so that you have the the most perfect comfort fit. Oh man, so gorgeous! I just that, that, that I really enjoy the color of that peridot, and I, and again, I, I again using these stones that we saw it in a previous ring when you incorporated blue sapphires, when we did the London blue topaz and the chrome diopside. How it really because uh, amylite features all of the all these beautiful colors from the reds, the yellows, the orange, the greens, and the blues. Um, it, it just it just really. Uh, it really complements the stone uh, exquisitely. And uh, we're going to come in close and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean because pay attention to how the peridot really draws out those beautiful, lustrous green colors. You see that? Just amazing. I mean, the yellows, the greens, it just looks so great, Ken. Well, you know, and I know that there's a lot of people that will say less is more. And I, I absolutely understand that and I would agree with that in some cases. But, you know, sometimes more is more. Yeah. So, so why limit yourself to one stone when you can do something like this and have two beautiful stones, uniquely different, that work so beautifully together at the same time? You know, these are curated to almost look like, you know, designer pieces of jewelry, like one-offs. Yeah. And, uh, and that's how I want you to feel when you're wearing, the, you know, a piece from the Kenneth Bradley collection. Uh, Ken, we're going to move on to this beautiful sterling silver rhodium plated amylite bolo bracelet. And first off, I love the bolo design because you know what? You don't need anybody to help you put it on your wrist. Uh, the bracelet measures approximately 10 inches once you fully expand it, but you've got eight beautiful nine by seven millimeter oval shaped bezel set amylites that all have blue. Ken, it's amazing.
Yeah, you know what? Your own private collection of the best of the very best. You know, the woman's wrist is such a special spot. It's very sensual, and I love that we're dressing it. You know, one thing with bracelets, I, I, I think that a lot of people talk about is it's never the perfect fit. Well, with a bolo, you know, whether you're whether you're traveling, uh, when we do travel in those hot countries where maybe we're retaining water or you want to wear it a little tighter or looser, this, there's so many options. This is going to fit every woman's wrist. A complete collection of the very best amylite on your wrist. It's absolutely stunning. I love the toggle that dangles. It gives it a little bit of life and personality. It's a jeans to it and a t-shirt right up to the most formal of occasions. You know, I think you're going to find in my collection that amylite is going to be wearable. You know, like we don't want you just to be tucking it away for a special occasion or for one particular outfit. These designs with this stone, in my opinion, are ageless, they're timeless, and they're appropriate for every single occasion. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Ken. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna pop one off here because I really want uh, to hit the light on this and, and and show our friends at home what we're talking about. Because right. This is this is something uh, really special here. Look at the blue in these stones. I mean, this yeah. is remarkable. This is what you find in in you know in in triple A grade high end th multi thousand dollar pieces here. Uh, Twelve hundred sixty nine ninety nine. Again, uh, we're talking about eight nine by seven millimeter stones each one. Look at the blue. I mean, that stone right there. You've got about fifty percent <laughs> blue, Ken. Yeah, you know, I'm really excited, and and I, you know, I, I always mean or say what I mean, and 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 you're doing such a great job. You know, Amalite is so beautiful. Right now is someone who has taught me so much about jewelry, and in particular about Amalite. He's one of the pioneers when it comes to Canada's gemstone. Ken Oshapak, so good to see you again, my friend. Absolutely, my pleasure to be back with you. So excited to be launching my very first showstopper in the Kenneth Bradley collection um, coming to you from the beautiful mountains of British Columbia the sun is shining it's going to be a great day oh yeah definitely and you're talking about the beautiful mountains there you're talking about the sunshine and we have all of that in our today's showstopper today Ken a simply stunning beautiful ring and in a gorgeous style too we are seeing that wonderful bypass and did you know nine easy pays on all of these here making it that much easier for our wonderful friends to get this home but it's that amylite Ken that's what's catching our attention Absolutely. And, and thank you to TSC for, you know, giving the viewers such an amazing, incredible price on this truly epic piece of jewelry. You know, this is this price of 279, you could easily justify that for one stone. In the regular real world of, of jewelry, you could probably put a one in front of that 279 and make it 1279. You know, this has been, you know, my vision, uh, you know my collection that I've that I've worked so hard to do, and this particular showstopper being our first showstopper, we wanted to make sure that it was something truly remarkable. Not one amylite stone, but two. Mm. Now I heard you mention about the blue, and I know that there's lots of amylite collectors and connoisseurs out there, and they know what that means. But for those of you that maybe are just experiencing or or or, or you know seeing amylite for the first time. You know, most amylite, over 90% of the world's amylite in this one deposit doesn't have blue. Blue is the rarest. It is the most elusive color found in amylite. And in my collection, you know, I'm just determined for the viewers and my special partners at TSE, the opportunity to guarantee that every single piece in this collection is going to have that rare blue amylite. The kaleidoscope of color bypass ring teardrop if you if you watch the shows prior you know that it's one of my favorite cuts or shapes in all gemstones it's curvaceous it's beautiful it's very designer and to get two not even for the price of one in this piece is truly remarkable Oh my gosh, Ken, this is a, just a beauty, an absolute beauty. And we were talking about the, the blue. And last time when you came, when you launched here at TSC, you taught me so much about amylites. I mean, like you are one of the pioneers when it comes to amylite. You've been in the business, oh my gosh, now, how many decades now? 30 years? Has it been 30 years? And, you know, you have yeah, a hand in the design that we have here. You are the creative director. You are the president here too. And we are 
are seeing some beautiful shapes and also some different um, combinations when it comes to other gemstones too because I know that you love the fact that you've got mother nature at her best here and you've got that beautiful kaleidoscope of color to work with. There's only one deposit on earth two and a half square miles in the middle of a farmer's field in southern Alberta is where this geological fluke of nature has occurred and to be associated with something as rare special and precious as Canada's gemstone has really been an honor and a privilege. And for me, you know, it, after all these years, it was time for me to, to step out and, and put my name on something. And this has been just such a thrill of a lifetime, a little nervous, you know, putting my name on it, but every single piece has passed through my hands at least once, often many more than one time. So it's, you know, quality control. If I'm going to put my name on it mm -hmm. and I'm going to come on live television, I'm going to assure you that this ring is not going to just meet your expectations. I believe it will exceed your expectations. Oh, for sure. And and I'm seeing it here and we saw it on the lovely Kelly's finger too. She had on the rhodium plate and it's a piece for any age, Ken. That's the thing. Like, it's not like, oh, okay, well, if you're in the age bracket of just 20 to 35, you know, this is for you. Or if, if you're 90 and above, you can't wear this by any means. This is one of those classic, beautiful designs. You've got that wonderful, sleek feature of it. You've got the high high polish that goes along with it. So you have all those new looks, but we are talking about millions of years in the making of these beautiful colors that you can get a piece of. And once again, look at that little pop of color that we have here. We've got the wonderful reds and oranges and the way that they turn into the greens, the blues. And you know, Ken, you have to be very proud of this collection that you brought to us because each and every piece, we are going to see that wonderful vibrant absolutely so excited so proud and you know what's so amazing about mother nature is that when you start talking about all these colors in one piece of jewelry if you haven't seen it you might think boy is that too much color mother nature doesn't make mistakes and to see this kaleidoscope you know ladies one of the things that i think if you've watched before you know that i'm quite practical mm -hmm. and and with amylite it's versatile I'm, I'm creating jewelry that is going to stand the test of time. You know, it's new today. It will be a classic and a favorite in years to come. You know, the more wares that you can get out of a piece of jewelry, the more valuable it is to you. And, you know, there's not a better place. You know, how do we do these prices? Well, it's real, real simple. It's from me to you. That's it. And, and, and that's how we're able to deliver you these incredible you know, prices uh, and on these pieces that would appraise for significantly higher. Bypass rings are really practical. They're beautiful, they're sophisticated, they're stylish, but if you are a woman that maybe doesn't have a perfect size five finger or a perfect size seven finger, there's going to be a little flexibility in given this ring. So it's, it's almost that perfect, comfortable fit and, uh, and if you're, you know, unfortunately have maybe a little arthritis or something and rings are, are difficult for you to wear, I would suggest you try this because I think it's going to be one of your most comfortable and favorite pieces in your collection. No, for sure. It's, it's just absolutely beautiful. And it's one of those pieces too, Ken, that you could wear every day. This can become your signature piece. This will be the piece that you are known for. And so many people are going to stop and they're going to ask you about it because the beautiful colors that you're getting, they're going to want to wonder what in the world is that? Because if you think about it, overall, amylite is fairly new. That's a fairly new gemstone if you think about all the different gemstones, right, Ken? That's a really great point because amylite is the newest kid, the newest gem on the block. You know, given gemstone status in 1981, there hasn't been another gemstone, given precious gemstone status since the discovery of amylite. Ken Oshabach, my friend, thank you hey. so much. What a wonderful visit. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure. Uh, very excited, a dream come true, and look forward to seeing you again one day soon. All right.